Here's a tip for you guys on how to properly set yourself up for your next shot. So as you can see, as I zoom full out here, my lightning rod span is pretty much my full screen. So I'll use that distance to try to get this to be where I land that close to the hole. So for instance, if I know one screen, so this point right over here on the left edge of my screen is going to be where the club line is. So if I want to set myself up for a nice lightning rod shot, I'll just backspin it basically to this spot. And I just need to make sure that it lines up right to that distance. Similarly, I can do that for any club that I want. So here you'll see I have Orion. Let's say I go out and I switch to any other club that I want. So why don't we just set up our bag a little bit different. We'll keep Orion on, but we'll do Bigfoot. This will be a perfect example for you guys. So let me go back in here. And all I'll need to do is create a mesh element for this club. So let's just see what the club's range is. I'll push it to its max line and then I'll be able to see and I'll set it up like this. So I'll put the bullseye target on the left edge. We'll go in here to meshes and then we'll just make a line mesh. Bigfoot span is what we'll call this. This is a group, but it'll be just a one element group. We'll just put Bigfoot here. Since it's it doesn't really matter. We'll just put you know range or something. And we're going to do a vertical line, like you see. And all we're going to do is make a line. So I'll just pull this down, pull this down. And it looks like it's almost automatically right in the perfect spot here. All I'm going to do is just line this up with where my, where the ball is sitting. So if I go back to this view right here, you'll see when I max full out, it's right here. And it looks like I need to come in just a little because I wasn't fully zoomed out. So that is the key. You got to make sure that you're fully zoomed out when, when setting this up. So we'll come back here and we'll be fully zoomed out like this. We'll just shift this in like this. And this is going to be the club's full span. So now anytime we want to turn this grid on or off, we'll know this is our distance that we need to get to right here. So this range right here is going to show me that's where Bigfoot's range is. And it's, it's going to be like that for every hole, because wherever we see the hole, all we'll need to do is get the ball to stop inside that red line. And ideally, to estimate distance better, you'll try to get it to where it's just inside. So you're going to see I'm going to set my spin up pretty much to basically just get inside there. And then I'll play wind as usual, which is going to be pretty close to about one per. It looks like can't quite do this without a little overpower. So that's all I'm going to do. And what this is going to do is it's going to help keep me where I want the ball to be close to the max span. So as you see, we're setting up the second shot. Nice side wind here. And you'll see that we're going to be very close to the max line. And that's how we pulled it off. So hopefully this tip is helpful for you guys. As you can see, you know, on three, four, five rings for max, it makes it very easy to get dialed in when you know I'm five rings for max every time. Because I'll be able to use similar ring values each and every time I play this club. I'll be able to always use a very similar number. And you see what I do with my guide? Other than that, let me just walk you guys through this adjustment. So 5.0, we will do the, oh, I got to restore real quick. Give me one second. 
I'll push that push that through I don't think I can hit this for store maybe I can I'm lucky <laughs> but I don't think it's gonna work so I'm gonna push it from another device And it should come through here. Here it is. We got it back. So 5.0. You'll use the wind. You'll my ring span here for this situation here. And we're about five rings for max, just like I said. So 5.0 and five rings for max, give or take. It's really close to five, maybe four, four and a half. And then all we'll do is just make sure that we keep this ball guide pretty tight on the hole. We got to make sure that we don't come up short. And it's telling me four, four, six rings. So make sure that you use the ring span. Then go four, four, six. Now I have another tool that I can pull out. This is another thing that you can set up. I've set up to where rings by tenths. So how does this work? For our last ring, we'll essentially use that tenths and subdivide. And that's all I did there was a segmented line. So I created a segmented line and I divided it that last ring into tenths. So this is going to allow me, I'll count four and a half tenths. So here would be nothing. Here's one, two, three, four, and then halfway through. So it should be right here. As you can see, not a lot of precision that we can do in terms of landing there. It's a little finicky trying to get it uh, to, to, to where we want. Just based on the target bullseye here but all we're trying to do is get right in the middle there of that value and that looks like we got it there so sometimes you got to play around with it a little bit that looks pretty good and you know we know we're going to be all over pins when we use all the tools at our disposal so as you can see i hit it right off the pin just came in just a tad bit too hot I should have kept that ball guide just a touch shorter because it was a little tailwind and you see it just barely expanded out. But that is going to be the secret to getting you much more dialed in. Good luck with that and take care. See you guys next time.